Okay, so I'm going to be demoing uh, the bugs I've been having in terms of uh, using the uh, iOS 7 music app. So let's go in here. The main problems I've been having with this is with iTunes Radio. And uh, the issues that I'm having with iTunes Radio is that it's not saving my um, preferences on here. And I'm going to give you some examples here and show you exactly what it's doing. So I have just a few uh, stations listed here. So I'm just going to go into one to start playing. Let's just choose Lamb of God. I'll turn this down just so you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, let's say <clears throat> let's say that okay, it's Devil Driver. Let's say, okay, I, I don't like Devil Driver. I don't want to listen to them. So I will click the star over here and I'm going to click on never play this song okay so it's going to go to the next one let me just pause that real quick I'm going to back out and I'm going to go to edit okay I was on Lamb of God radio so I'm going to click Lamb of God and here is my list of uh, play more stuff like this and my never play this as you notice <clears throat> the song that I had just clicked by Devil Driver to never play this again is not on my never play this list it did not add it okay let's go to another one that didn't work let's go back to the radio station <clears throat> okay let's say I just don't like this song either I'm gonna try it again never play this song okay and that was by Megadeth so let's go back edit gonna look at my list of stuff oh huh. on my never playlist it still didn't add the song I said to never play and this has been an issue <clears throat> I've been having across all my radio channels um, also with some stations uh, I will click play this song more often I'll choose that option and it will not uh, add it to my list so I'm gonna go into this station real quick and let's say uh, I'm gonna add a an artist I would like to add, add to the list to play more like that. Um, let's just say, let's add Linkin Park. Linkin Park, you see it up there. For the artist, I'm going to click to add that. Look, okay, did it add it? Oh, okay, add it at the bottom there. Let's back out. Click done. I'm going to go right back into the uh, that radio station I added it to. Oops. Let me pause that real quick. <clears throat> Let's go back to edit. I added it to Fall Rise Radio. Hmm. Would you look at that? I added Linkin Park to my Play More Like This, yet Linkin Park is not in that list. Not anywhere. So let's back out. Click Done. Um, another problem I'm having is it seems to play the same songs sometimes even back to back for example uh, I was playing a song <clears throat> on one of my radio stations I clicked do not play this song again because I didn't like that song okay so it skipped that song the very next song was the exa the same exact song I just said to not play again played it twice in a row after I said I don't want to play it and even at that I clicked don't play this song again on the second time it played it and it still did not add it to my do not playlist for that station. Uh, and I've also noticed that it plays the same songs over and over. It'll play sometimes two in a row, it'll play one song and maybe three or four songs later it'll play it again. It, it seems like it's picking from about ten songs and just playing the same ten set of songs. And I was thinking it might be from the uh, the option there's an option in here let's see where it's at um oh i can't find it oh might be up here where it says uh tune so it will say uh see hits variety or discovery and i haven't experimented with these settings but it's always on the hits by default and i haven't changed it if it keeps playing the same songs because it's on hits uh, there's more than five or ten hits 
uh, hit songs in this genre in music in general. I don't know why it keeps playing the same the same songs. You could even look at this and I can show you the track record I've been having with these repeat songs when I go to my history. Okay. Now I've added a I got about four or five stations on here, so it's a little jumbled up. But I'll uh, I'll try to walk you through the the repetitiveness I've been having, and it's mostly on um, my let's see my Slipknot radio. It's probably got the most repetitive playlist going on here, and I'll show you. Let me get to the beginning of all this. Okay, so this is where my radio for Slipknot radio starts out. Okay, you got Mudvayne, System of a Down, Rob Zombie, Pantera, Godsmack. These are all pretty much good. I navigate away right here from that radio station and I come back a little up here. I think this is my Slipknot radio. Yes, it is. So look. Plays Three Days Grace. I hate everything. That's good. All that remains. It plays this and I. this is one that I actually played twice in a row. It doesn't show up here. But I said, no, I don't want to play this song. And the very next song was that song. Um, you get up here more, and this is when it starts getting repetitive. It says, it plays, I Will Not Bow by Breaking Benjamin. Okay, one, two, three, four, five songs. Plays the same song again. I Will Not Bow by Breaking Benjamin. It also plays, um, okay, you can see here, Nightmare by Avenged Sevenfold. One, two, three, four, five songs later, it plays the same song, okay? It did, uh, I didn't repeat that one, let's see. It repeated that one, um, right here again, Rob Zombie. Uh, Living Dead Girl, one, two, three, four, five, plays the same song again. This is all in the same, uh, it's continued time, I didn't play it and come back an hour later and continue. This is all one after another. This is how it's playing them. Uh, let's see. Let's continue on up here. Again, I Will Not Bow by Breaking Benjamin. It played that song like four songs prior to that. Okay. Um, Through Fire and Flames by Dragon Force. It played that probably about five or six songs before that right here. Let's see, I think that is where it stops, oh, nope, it starts up again. Jars, it actually played maybe about eight or nine songs before that. Aerials, we saw that it played that earlier. There's Through Fire and Flames again, which it already played. Uh, and I think that is where I pretty much stopped with the radio. I was just getting so frustrated, it's playing the same songs. You know, every four or five songs, I'll get a repeat song. Even if it's a song I said I don't want to hear on my radio anymore. It's not saving any of my preferences, as you've seen. I've uh, I've clicked for it to add or uh, or take off a song from this radio station. I don't want to hear it, or I do want to hear it, and it's not saving it. Uh, I can show you one more time. Let's go into uh, my Fall Rise. Okay, I like I really like this song by Mudvayne. So let's go ahead and play more like this. Let's see if it actually saved it to my list gonna go up here gonna go to edit fall rise okay was that actually the same song scream with me let me check I can't even remember terrible okay well it did save that song sometimes it saves it most of the time it doesn't that's why you usually notice when you uh, come to my stations there's not very many things on the dislike list it's only a few. Sometimes I've had it to where the first song I click dislike on, it will add that, no problem. Any song after that, it will not add. It'll only stay at one song for the never play this list. I actually had to do a hard reset, and that seemed to uh, to free that up. I could add more to my never play this list. But that's only for about half my stations. A station, say like Stone Sour, usually when I do this, Okay, it's going to take me through Glass, which, again, uh, I don't know, I've only had a few songs I've played through Stone Sour, um, and it already played through Glass. It's one of the songs it already played, and if I remember correctly, I had already clicked Play More Like This. It probably didn't save it. So let's go to Edit, go to my Stone Sour Radio. Okay, well, it looks like it did save it. 
Let's uh, see if we can skip a song and get it to, n to not save one. Skip this. Wasteland. I actually do like this song, but for example, I'm just going to say never play this song again. And we have an ad. So let's go back, look to see if it actually saved my selection. Go to Stone Sour. Well, it did save it, but again, that's the first song. Most of the time it'll save the first song, and the second song it will not save. Or any songs after that. And if you add bands or add songs to the list, it also won't, won't add it that way. I don't like this song. Reality, I do. But for this, I'm going to say I don't. For these next two, I'm going to say I don't. Actually, for the next three, even though I like all these songs, I'm going to say I don't like them. Let's just see if it saves my selection, or if it's not doing anything at all. Wow, okay, it actually saved it this time. Uh, it's actually a very big surprise to me. Let's see if it'll, uh, if it'll work with uh, Fall Rise. Okay, so you see my selection here for Never Play This Again. I've got four. Um, let's say, you know, I don't want to hear a particular artist. I don't really like Avenged Sevenfold. So let's not play Avenged Sevenfold. Okay, you see it added added it there on the bottom. Let's back out. Go to Done. Go back to Edit. It was Fall Rise, I believe. Okay, did save it. To my surprise, it saved it. Uh, but earlier in the video... I did show that uh, it did not save my selections. It's very hit and miss with saving selections. Sometimes it will. The majority of times when I want it to save my selections, I'll actually find that it doesn't. And the repetitive of the music, uh, it, it seems like there's not that many songs it's picking from. Um, and it's another little bug I've kind of picked up on as far as uh, iTunes Radio goes is the the scrolling it's it seems very sluggish and choppy it's a little bit laggy when i'm scrolling through i don't know if you pick it up on the camera but it doesn't have that fluidity that the rest of the the menu screens have when going through ios 7 and it's always in uh, this view when you're in the edit view of your particular station or uh there's a couple other different screens it does that on but i've just been having uh, problems with itunes radio i've done about eight to ten um, system restores since iOS 7 released I've done restores from backups I've made multiple backups and restored from that and uh, I've actually even restored uh, multiple times and set up as a new iPhone to completely have a clean slate and this system right here I set up as a new iPhone and I just added everything else back on manually to avoid um, any corrupted files that might be loaded on with the backup file but yet you see here I'm still having issues with it um, so I'm wondering if it's just me that's having the problem or if this is a widespread uh, bug with iOS 7 users so if anybody knows about this or could help me out maybe I'm kind of hesitant to do another restore because I've had to do restores for various reasons so many bugs I've run into with iOS 7 that I've actually been doing restores you know, it's just about since iOS 7 came out. I'm a little reluctant to do another one, just just because it might, who knows, might give me more problems if I restore. This is about the only thing I see having an issue right now is iTunes Radio. So, uh, if you know anything about it, just let me know in the comments down below. If you uh, have any solutions or uh, anybody else having this issue, I'd, I'd like to hear it.